CBS 42 and several Alabama media outlets with support of national journalism organizations filed a motion to have the gag order lifted in the Anaya Blanchard case. The motion calls the gag order unconstitutionally overbroad. The suspect charged with kidnapping and Blanchard's disappearance, Ibrahim Yazid, is now in solitary confinement at the Lee County Detention Facility. He's expected in court Wednesday for a preliminary hearing. And now CBS 42 continuing coverage of a DUI crash that killed 13 year old Jayla Parler and her 11 year old sister Naomi James. This happened in Tuscaloosa County in 2016 as they traveled in the back seat of their father's vehicle. In a CBS 42 News exclusive, we hear from Jayla and Naomi's mother. And for the first time, this public statement from the attorney representing James Halsell Jr., the man indicted in Jayla and Naomi's deaths. His statement in a moment. We'll have flowers, we'll let off balloons, we may have cupcakes again this year. Our story begins with Latrice Parlor carrying birthday balloons in Elmwood Cemetery to observe the 17th birthday of her oldest daughter, Jayla, on November 10th. She's buried here in this single plot with her sister, Naomi James, who died in a car crash on June 6, 2016. And to not have her here with me today when I'm knowing that she can be having a part-time job or a boyfriend or getting a permit for a car, it, it hurts. It hurts. Latrice Parler says what hurts even more is... He doesn't even want to take ownership in it. He's still saying he's not at fault. He is James Halsell Jr., a retired astronaut indicted in 2016 by a Tuscaloosa County grand jury on charges of reckless murder, felony assault DUI, and felony assault with indifference to human life. Halsell has yet to stand trial. CBS 42 received this statement from his attorney saying, in part, his client had a, quote, abnormal response to the sleep aid Zolpidin, which is sold in the U.S. as Ambien, that the drug induced a, quote, sleep driving episode that resulted in a horrible accident, stating it's not uncommon for Ambien to, quote, render a person incapable of controlling their actions. And going on to say, while Colonel Halsell deeply regrets the tragedy this incident created, he is, quote, innocent of the charge that is being brought against him by the Tuscaloosa County District Attorney's Office. That's what hurts. That's what, like how are you a human being and you say, I don't care. I didn't do this. I'm going to get fight for my driver's license. I'm going to do all these things. It's like you, you swept my children under the bus. Okay, and that's not right. They meant some, they meant everything to me. So that's, I think that's what bothers me the most is that he's not even taking ownership. Halsell is due in court on November 25th. That's the day Latrice Parler says she's expecting justice for Jayla and Naomi. Jayla and Naomi's parents, Latrice Parler and Pernell James, are frustrated that it has taken three and a half years for this case to be tried. I did reach out to the Tuscaloosa County DA's office who told me previously they cannot comment on this case. You can go to CBS42.com right now to read the full statement from James Halsell's attorney, Jim Sturdivant. That's also where our continuing coverage of Jayla and Naomi's story is right now.